In this video, I'm going to go over a couple of the really common parameters that you might have to deal with when programming your CFW-10. Now, the WEG CFW-10 is a very versatile machine control device and it has well over 100 different control parameters that you could possibly change. Luckily for you, though, there's only five or six that you'll probably have to interact with. Most of the others are all special features. So the very first parameter I want to tell you about is P000. Now to get into the programming menu on a WEG VFD, you simply press the P key located here, and this will take you into the programming layer. And what this is here is this is the password field. You need to enter a value here that will unlock the drive. And this is a safety feature that's built into the drive that keeps uh, unwanted persons from changing parameters or keeps you from just bumping a button and changing something unintentionally. Now, once you've entered the password into there, you'll be able to change the parameters. The next parameter that you're likely to want to deal with are P100 and P101. This is acceleration and deceleration time of the motor. Now, these are independently adjustable for uh, any number of reasons that you could think of. For example, if you have a conveyor belt that you're driving with this unit and you don't want it to jerk all your product and make it all fall over, you could ramp up to full speed over a full, say, 20 seconds. On the other hand, on something like this drill press, maybe I don't want it to take a full 10, 15 seconds to spin all the way up to speed. I want it to just come right up because I'm going to just start drilling into my workpiece. You can go ahead and lower that down. The range on these settings is 0.1 seconds all the way up to 999 seconds. Acceleration time is the time the motor takes to get from zero RPM to whatever your set speed is. And deceleration time is the time it takes to get from the full speed all the way back down to zero. One note with these parameters, however, is if you try to accelerate or decelerate too fast with a load that has a high inertial, it will possibly overload the drive and send it into a protection mode because it's just unable to stop that much momentum. The next parameter that most commonly is dealt with is going to be P134. Now this parameter is the maximum output frequency of the drive. P134 allows you to set how fast your motor will turn. Most motors can go up to double speed without any permanent damage. And so if you have an application where you want your motor to spin faster than its rated speed, you would just simply set the frequency available here in P134 to whatever you'd like. So if it's a 60 hertz motor and you wanted to double speed it, you'd set that parameter to 120. The next parameter is parameter P231. Now this is your forward and reverse selection. The factory default on this setting is number two. It has three available settings, forward, reverse, or what's called commands. So forward and reverse obviously will spin the motor one direction or the other all the time if you set it to zero or one. If you set it to 2, it will listen to the digital inputs on the drive here to select the direction. So you could actually put a switch in between two of these leads here, and I'll cover that in a different video on adding accessories. So you could put a switch that would go forward reverse, and that's factory default. But for something like this drill press here, we're going to want to go ahead and set it to go always forward because we're generally never going to want to run the, uh, the drill backwards. The last parameter that I want to cover for you here is another built-in safety feature, and this is parameter 204. Now 204 is a factory reset, so if you set a parameter that you're not sure about or you start changing things and you're just not sure what exactly happened, you want to start all over again. You simply go into parameter 204, press program to get into your value layer, set it to 5, this will initiate factory defaults, and when you press program it's going to save the parameters and the drive will be right back to factory condition just like when you first pulled it out of the box. So thankfully with all the built-in safety features on the WEG drives, there's really no way you could program something into here that will permanently stop the operation of the drive. You can always go back to the start. Now if you have any questions about programming on WEG VFDs, uh, WEG VFDs in general you'd like to purchase, or if you'd just like to give us, you know, give us a call, it's area code 510-403 4061. And our website is www.temcoindustrialpower.com. And now, also, if you'd like, down below the video here, I'm going to go ahead and link to a more detailed quick start programming guide that'll get you started with your WIG CFW10 right away.